Well, you know what's really interesting? So at Loop Capital, we only cover institutional investors. And, you know, we've seen a tremendous, tremendous rally. And a lot of our clients do have to balance their portfolios against various indices. They have to be um, balanced across sectors and have exposure, whether it's underweights or overweights. We've been seeing about a three to one selling today. And interestingly enough, it has not been on weak volume, which is what I would have assumed. I mean, volumes today are pretty healthy relative to what you would be expecting this week uh, between Christmas. Christmas and New Year's. So um, we are seeing a bit of selling, but it's not kind of fear selling. It's not tax loss selling. It's a little bit of profit taking and a little bit of reweighting of portfolios and taking some profits from some of those names that have run up. Josh was talking about Apple being up, I mean, 80% year to date. That's tremendous. And then reallocating maybe to some of the other tech names that haven't done as well, but that they expect to continue to rally into 2020. Courtney, what do you think about a sell-off on a day like today where maybe it's for tax reasons or otherwise, but not fear-driven? Does it feel no. like something that's actually a bit healthy, something that you want to see every now and then as opposed to this constant melt-up? Well, you know, a melt-up is not a bad thing. And, and as we've talked about, in 2019, although it felt as though, you know, every time you turned around, there was fear in the market, it was scary, it was this, it was that. I mean, I think the VIX was really only at about 13.9 on average this year, which was 7% lower than last year. So that fear factor really wasn't necessarily in the market and the numbers per se itself. Um, but by the same token, I think we saw and we're seeing here today people making decisive decisions on where they want their portfolios to be. And so, yeah, I think it is healthy. I mean, we didn't even really see a major correction in 2019. We just talked about six and a half, seven percent. That's not even correction territory. So I think we're in a market right now where fundamentals are actually driving things. We're seeing earnings, you know, whether they're flat or not. I think management teams are getting a lot more attuned to the fact that they have to under promise and over deliver. And um, and we're seeing kind of some other things fall into play, whether it's the Fed, whether it's kind of the trade fears calming. Josh, I disagree. I think people have jumped up and down about trade fears and tariffs, not on specific names, but just the market more broadly, because we haven't seen volatility this year. And so I think we're seeing um, a lot of things kind of just fall into place. And you're going to probably continue to see that melt up in 2020. Courtney, thanks Vic, for joining us. Yeah, the VIX Thank averaged 13.9 this year. So yeah. the, not, really yeah. any, not really any big Nothing. reaction on trade all year. But I mean, it just wasn't moving. And so anything kind of that was going on, it gave people a reason to move a little bit.